to my art studio. I haven't, um, today is October 10th, 2019. And my birthday is October 13th. And um, it's, I love those numbers, 10, 13, and I always see 10, 13 everywhere. I just love 1013 and everything about those numbers. So I'm excited about my birthday, but actually it's pretty... Moving on. It's a big birthday. So moving on. I haven't posted in a while because I got a little confused. Here I am trying to start an art page. And at the same time, I'm trying to start a vegan cooking channel page. And at the same time, I'm trying to start, well, I already have another YouTube channel that I haven't really used in a while. That's for my going out and exploring kind of things. And it's like, I'm trying to do three YouTube pages and I can't even do one. Shouldn't I maybe just focus on one and just combine everything? But then it's like, um, really, you know, if you're here for art, do you want to sit through my Bigfoot investigations? Do you want to know about vegan cooking? I mean, of course I want to push the vegan thing on, on everybody. But are my Bigfoot, you know, researchers, followings going to be interested in painting or in, you know... I would like to consolidate everything and I feel like it's the right thing to do, but I don't, I just, and so that's why I've been hesitating making another art video because it's like, okay, now I have to make an art video to appeal to vegan, vegans and, um, Bigfoot researchers and it's just too much pressure. Why I ended up posting now is because looking back at my post, something very helpful happened because of the pose. I did these little um, green cityscapes and they were real small. I did them really fast. They were really easy. They looked really good and they sold really fast. So then, um, you know, later I decided I'm going to do that again, only bigger. And it didn't work out as well. Looking back, I painted on a black background And um, I might have had a little bit of issue with uh, one of the colors, but basically I believe that it's all, and another painting I sold, looking back, I started that on a white background, on a black background, and um, I, the next thing I did is I just started drawing it in with white. So um, I'm going to use that technique, and I had some extra paint lying around. I painted uh, several canvases black. And remember my Rihanna painting? Well, she is gone. She's been vanquished because she wears fur and been replaced by this most charming butterfly. He really was charming. And it was strange because I met him along the banks of the Colorado River where I I was in Laughlin and so I decided to go explore down by the riverbed. I found a way down there and it was really filthy, really yucky, really scary. Uh, but the butterfly was down there licking the dirty rocks. I have no idea why he was down there because there were no flowers. It was just dirty rocks. But he liked them. He was far away. I had to zoom in on him. But um, he, I took a lot of pictures of him. And, and then this owl thing going on. He's amazing. This is just amazing. He was amazing. So, you know, it was worth it. But it was scary. So, it's an experiment that I'm going to be doing. I am going to be painting some cityscapes on these black backgrounds. The purple and orange and then the, um, you know, the green. And I've already got these two green ones here that I'm selling for very inexpensive on eBay because I just don't feel it, it worked out right so I you know whatever um, and then I'm also pulling out these old paintings remember this one I do 
and these space paint, and I used some of the black to touch those up because they were sitting in my garage. I had this idea with my large scale paintings that since I don't have room for them, they're just getting kind of ruined sitting in this garage that I was going to um, take them off the stretcher boards and roll them up, paint them good and roll them up. Then I've come into some other issues now because I found um, a big old Calice painting and uh, she wears fur. So it's a big painting. I used to love this painting and I'm going to freaking have to vandalize it and then gesso it and paint over it. Maybe I'm going to, I have to. And then I found a, a painting. I did a Beyonce and Jay-Z. Mm, they wear fur. So they got to get it. They got to go. But not before I vandalize my own painting. It's terrible. I don't want to do it. It's they're really good paintings. Hmm, but I can't. I just can't leave. Uh -uh. Mm -mm. Ah. So that's what's going on in the studio. That's what I've got lined up for the future. Embellishing these old space paintings, getting them for up for sale. Um. You know, I don't know if I'm done with my um intaglio series but um I also want to finish maybe some of these little side things here and then really finish quickly the paintings black you know the black paintings oh and then these two old landscapes that I did that I pulled right out this painting feels very old, but apparently it's not. Look at all the dates on the back. I must remind people who buy my old paintings, you are paying for the front of the canvas, not the back. And some of the backs get a lot of stuff on them. You know, I can't, you're paying for the front, like really, please. The backs are a mess sometimes, but this one's really a mess. I don't like to show you one. Um, but look at the old estate on it. Oh my gee. You can't see it. Look at it. Jenna Garcia under that one. 1991. Now you might know how a freaking what birthday is coming up. Yeah. I'm going to be 30. Turns 30. Okay. So this painting, if you've ever been there, you might recognize it. It's Oak Creek Canyon. It's been sitting around for so long, unfinished, probably like, well, since 2005, maybe 2007, unfinished, just lying around, just lying around. It just took me like 20 minutes to finish it. It's done. It's been embellished, it's ready to go for sale. Okay. Then, okay, after my midlife painting crisis, I would like to say I have no more sentiment attachments to any of my paintings however I do want to finish this one and embellish it and then send it on its way and look at this one the back is so clean and so pure and what is the date oh should I be proud or ashamed I don't know but this one one's one thing I, I never this is the painting I did in 1989 so, um, it's definitely, was. I just want to fi fix this and fix this and fix, fix, fix. Um, it shouldn't take longer than 20 minutes and then it's going to be done. And I've been looking at it, um, unfinished for freaking, I don't even want to know how many years. And in 20 minutes, it'll be done. So I'm going to finish those. I'm excited to see those finished. And now the way I feel about my paintings, I feel like I look at them like my kittens and I'm a stray cat and I have to like um, go door to door and find people to take. This happened to me with a kitten one, a cat one time was trying to give me its kitten. I know it was. Anyways, I'm trying to find the best homes for my kittens before I get more kittens or before, you know, before nobody wants, before they end up like me, an alley cat. That's not really the case, but I do feel like they're kittens and then I am trying to give them homes. And now, the more I love my kittens, the more I really want to find a good home for them. Because I'm not going to be around forever to take care of them. That's 
part of my midlife crisis realization. So yeah, all the sentimentality is out the door and it's now just become, I've got to find a home for them before it's too late. Hey, you think about these things on big birthday times. Or like me, you think about them every day of your life. Since, since, since age 11. Why wouldn't you? That's why I do it. That's why I've been doing it. Okay, you don't know what I'm talking about. That's okay. I don't want to bring you down. But I do have a lot of work to do. And like I said, some is experimental because I am planning that these black canvases are going to just like be the key. I'm going to paint on them. The colors are going to turn out great. It's going to take five, you know, just like five minutes. And I'll be done and they're going to sell really fast. That's what I think is going to happen with these. So let's see. What's the date? 10, 10. 19. And I do have plans for my birthday. I'm going to the Joshua Tree Music Festival with my friend. And, um, you know, it's going to be like, I guess my last hurrah. Whatever that means. I don't like looking at it that way. I'm not the one that actually somebody said that and it's gotten in my head. And, uh, I got mad at her for saying it, and now I keep repeating it to everybody. But yeah, it's not my last hurrah. It's a really depressing way of looking at it. But anyways, somewhat is my last hurrah. I mean, think about it. It really is downhill from here. Everything. It's not a good way of looking at it. My glass is um, half full. And... I'm going to start looking at it like um, for every time, like when, when you're in your 30s, you should just be like, I am so glad I am in my 30s and not in my 40s. Then when you're in your 40s, just think, I am so glad I'm not in my 40s and not in my 50s. And when you're 50, I'm so glad I'm not in my 60s. I'm so glad I'm not in my 70s. And just keep going and be glad that you're not, be just trying harder to be glad with what you have, even though you're dreading what's coming next. Maybe that's my problem. I'm dreading what's but I am happy. I'm not going to wood. I don't think I'm going to be. I'm in my. I'm. I hope I have more happiness and health and love and. as opposed to death and pain and suffering and all that. So. I don't feel like I'm a glass half full or half empty. I'm definitely like both. All right. So that being said, I guess that's all I have to say for now. I'm going to start posting more, but not as much with my art and try to uh, probably keep it separate for a while now until maybe, I don't know, I might change and think I need to combine it. But for now, I'm going to keep the art separate from the vegan and just do them all three. Okay. So, yeah. Till next time.